Just try it on a track. Try EQing at the start and see if it makes you sound better. Is the noise reduction first or last in the mixer section? The answer, like most things in, in music and audio, is it depends. It's kind of the same question about your EQ. So you'll notice that the noise gate goes at the front, so, and that has to go at the front. In fact, I don't think you can even move it. No, you can't move it, because the whole point of that is that you want to you want to gate the noise before it hits any other processing. There's no point using your compressor or your EQ or any other effect on the noise that you're then going to try and remove. Makes no sense. Some people think the same thing about EQ, in fact. So here I've got the EQ on this guitar. I'm EQing this after I've done all the processing. So after I've added compression, after I've added all the sounds. There's some people that say, actually, Pete, why would you do that? Why wouldn't you put your EQ up to the top? Can't put it ahead of the noise gate. Why wouldn't you put your EQ up to the top? So you're removing any of the frequencies and you're only processing the frequencies that you want to use. And the same argument can be made for noise reduction. If you were to add Bruce Free to this, you know, I've got to be careful because it <laughs> wasn't working before. But if you add Bruce Free to this, oh man, it's right at the top. Pete, B, it comes right after A, buddy. Get your stuff together. So Bruce Free here, and if we tap on this, then, um, what was my point? Yeah, we tap the edit button. You might say, well, actually, it makes more sense to remove the noise first before you then do your EQ and your compression. Because why would you want to EQ it, compress it, and then remove the noise at the front? But the other side of that argument is, what if, uh, what if instead of this, actually, let's just go to a track where we can use multiple effects. Uh, what if, instead of this, we had other plugins in here? Let's say you put like a chorus on here, and you added like uh, another effect here. An overdrive effect, for instance. What if you want? What if they were introducing unwanted noise to your signal? Well, then you'd want to make sure that your noise reduction was at the very end of the chain to make sure that it was removing any of that. So it really comes down to personal preference. If you have got a noisy signal and you want to make sure everything's removed before it goes through your effects chain and your processing, stick brush free or whatever you're using up the front there. If you want to have all of that processing and then have Bruce Free as one final little check and balance, you can pop it down there. And you know what? You can get all fancy schmancy on yourself and you can put two instances in here, yeah? You can put Bruce Free at the front, reduce the noise, and then put Bruce Free again at the end <laughs> to reduce the noise you've created after the noise reduction. It's trial and error and it's personal preference, to be honest. Just go with try both ways. And it's the same thing. Try both ways with your EQ. If you've always EQ'd at the end, just try it on a track. Try EQing at the start and see if it makes you sound better. Because again, unlimited retries here, people. We're in a digital system. You're not paying a mixing engineer by the hour. It's you and your time. So if you think trying something new may help you out, go your hardest. Just get it done.